always been something that brought me joy and made me feel a sense of belonging. When I was a small child, my father would pick me up and sit me on the table in front of him after dinner, where he and I would sing songs like, You Are My Sunshine, me singing melody and him singing harmony. My grandmother taught me songs from her childhood and we would sing them together again with harmony. Her favorite was Green Sleeves a song, and a song about a lonely soldier boy. When I was 12, I got a guitar for my birthday and took lessons. That was really special because with a guitar, I could sing along with it and learn all kinds of songs from the folk singers I loved from the 60s and 70s. I also joined the folk group at church where I got to sing for the first time with others in community. I joined the Glee Club when I attended Regis College. Here I found a home, a place where I belonged, a place that gave me my first leadership opportunity, a place that allowed me to develop my love of singing great classical music from Bach and Handel with full orchestra, to a cappella madrigals, to works of modern day composers like Randall Thompson. And it was there I met the love of my life, singing in a combined concert with the Men's Glee Club from Worcester Polytech. Bill and I have been singing together ever since. We've sung at weddings, in shows, at piano bars, and for 10 years with Chorale Connecticut. And then we moved to Georgia and somehow the singing stopped. We were busy. Our kids and jobs kept us really busy. We would periodically look for a church with a good choir, but in the deep South, it was difficult to find a church with a great choir and progressive ideas. We finally gave up stopping and searching. In 2015, we moved to Chicago and in 2016, we were invited to a wedding at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. When the organ began to play, we were smitten. When the pastor began the service, we were in awe. We looked at each other and said, we've got to come back and see if this is for real. And it was. The choir was phenomenal. We thought, could we join it? Were we too rusty? It had been 12 years since we had sung at all. Some people reached out to see if we would be interested, and so we finally joined in the fall of 2017. We were rusty, and thanks to all who put up with our dusty pipes and breathlessness, you made us feel at home. And here we are, 2020, quarantined without choir, without the weekly camaraderie of song, lame jokes, and the joy of singing with an amazing group of talented musicians. We mourn, we long, and we wonder, when will, we be, when will we be able to sing again in church and with this fabulous choir? I know in my heart that we will sing again, maybe in six months, maybe a year. In the meantime, we get to sing every Sunday in our home as we attend church via Zoom. We see the faces of our friends and hear the inspiring soloists and instrumental musicians. Bill and I have also had the opportunity to sing with two virtual choirs. One was the with the Association of Lutheran Church Musicians that you all got to hear on Pentecost Sunday. Was that the same? No. Is it a way to participate in making joyful music in the meantime? Yes. While we are waiting, we should all embrace opportunities that present themselves. We might learn a new skill or find out we can do something we didn't know we could do. One thing, one thing I know for sure is music can touch our hearts, create a sense of belonging, and help us find true love, and give us the feeling of being home. <laughs>